Turns out, I did start sweating. Oh man, it, I got that hot just for being out there for like, I don't know, I think like 15 minutes. But um, I wanted to talk about how, you know, narcs, man. Matter of fact, I forgot the exact topic I was even uh, about to make a video. I was about to make a second video out on the balcony, but shoot, it got hot. I had to come back in, but that sun kissing my skin felt amazing. I took my vitamins for today. You know what I'm saying? Got me some vitamin D naturally for my skin. I mean, it's just a beautiful freaking day. And I'm going to make the best out of all my days because once I learned what attacks the narcissist, I'm going to attack y'all asses every motherfucking day. Attack y'all every time you see me smile. Every time I fucking laugh. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> every time I fucking laugh. You know what I'm saying? Every time I brush my teeth, I wash my face, I wash my ass crack. You know what I'm saying? These are small feats because I told you, I've made videos about how narcissists have bad hygiene. These motherfuckers don't be brushing their teeth. They don't like to wash their face. You know, they don't take care of their hair. They they present themselves to a degree, but they don't really give a damn. If you don't love yourself, there's it is impossible for you to love anybody else. Period. Point blank. Like... And, it, and it's just so sad how schools, they teach us all this other bullshit, but you don't teach us how to respect ourselves, how to honor our emotions and honor ourselves. You don't teach us how to love ourselves, which is very, very, very important. Like, a lot of men, y'all go out here and y'all fuck anything that fucking looks pretty or that's goddamn fuckable. It's sickening, honestly. Like, have some fucking self-respect and self-discipline and self-restraint to keep your fucking willy in your fucking pants. Like, you don't need to fuck everything walking. If you feel that you need to, something is psychologically off with you up here. Like, that programming in this fucking matrix is real on your ass. It's fucking real. Because, you know, once you step into, like, your spirituality and shit like that, sex is just... That is for procreation. You can still have as much sex as you want, but it's more controlled than undisciplined. You got to understand, when you fuck somebody, you are exchanging energy. You know what I'm saying? Every time I had sex with my ex on an energetic level, on a spiritual level, I was protecting myself. Because not only that, but... I'm having to send him healing because clearly I know that he is spiritually, he is spiritually detriment. Like his spirit, he got spirits. I couldn't tell what kind of spirits because everybody's spirits are different. Some spirits slam doors. Some spirits knock shit over for no goddamn reason other than to fuck with you. Some spirits make a room super super cold some you know there's levels to these motherfucking spirits yo these entities and um this is the number one reason why i don't smoke or i don't drink because alcohol carries spirits and tobacco carries spirits so anybody that smokes or drinks i'm sorry baby but you got spirits in you on you and don't take it like, you know, I think I'm better than you. No, I've had to slay a lot of demons, but my demons didn't have to do with drug addictions. If anything, I would say my demons were more so like narcissists, like my mother, um, you know, sexual demons. You know, there was a point in my life I felt like I was a goddamn nympho. Like sex was always at the forefront of my mind. And I'm and I just hit a point where I was like, this is not healthy. Like it doesn't matter what I was doing. Sex, sex, sex. And you know, so I get it when some people are just like at that point. 
okay, I remember being a horny teenager slash early. Well, for me, it was really early, my early 20s, because I didn't lose my virginity until like I was 18. I wasn't even allowed to date or a whole bunch of shit, surprisingly, surprisingly. But I really feel like my narcissistic mom, she, because she was a whore and to this day she still is out there just spreading it open for whoever and she thinks oh well it's in the dark don't nobody know me and this and that god knows you and that's exactly why he doesn't answer your prayers and your prayers fall on deaf ears bitch because he sees all the dark magic all the evil rituals all the demonic prayers that you send my way or to innocent people's way he sees it all motherfucker and that is exactly why you are reaping karma you can't escape your karma and don't come crying and crawling back to me trying to seek refuge from the storm. No, bitch. My house is built on solid ground and it ain't coming down because it is divinely protected and reinforced and I ain't letting you in. This is just like the Passover, like that damn story in the Bible where motherfuckers put blood on their door and God passed them by, killed Pharaoh's son and shit. Yeah. It's just like that, motherfucker. I am covered and protected at all times inside my home, outside my home, in my car, outside my car. I am always divinely protected. You can't fuck with me because if you fuck with me, they going to fuck your ass up. And I'm going to be right there looking like, hmm, hmm, because, you know, narcissists love to motherfucking sabotage and shit. And then they like to disguise it with, I'm just trying to help. Your help is doing more damage than motherfucking helping. So I think I'm okay without your fucking help. Well, everything you do is just stupid. Is everything I do stupid because I thought of a better and easier way to do something than you? It's more than one way to skin a cat. And I really don't even like that saying because, you know, I ain't trying to skin my babies. <laughs> but, I mean, I, re I remember there was a time I used to tell my mom, there's more than one way to do something. You know what I'm saying? One plus one is two. Two, you know, divided by one is still what? Two. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to get in her mind that there's more than one way to add and subtract and get to the same fucking result, you know? And in her mind, it's my way or the highway. And that's how fucking narcissists are. It's my way or the highway. I'll fucking hitchhike. Thumbs out. I will fucking hitchhike and take my own path. I don't need you trying to control me, telling me what I can and can't do, what I need to should and shouldn't shut the fuck up how about that shut the fuck up because one thing about narcissists at least with narcissistic mothers and their daughters they're always gonna fucking see competition oh she's getting more attention than me oh she's smarter than me yeah i'm smarter than you I'm smart enough not to sit here and be a side bitch and have a nigga's baby on the fucking side knowing that I'm nothing but a side hoe. You know what I'm saying? It'd be different if a situation like that happened and I did not know. But no way in the fuck do I knowingly know my motherfucking position in somebody's fucking life and make a dumbass decision. There's no way, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to... I, I refuse. I'm I'm over here breaking generational curses left and right. I refuse to be a single parent, even though it easily could have recently happened. But due to, you know, complications to me, I had to go ahead and, you know, abort that situation. And even though I cried a lot because I really, I mean, at the time, I really wanted my baby, but I could care less about him. It was only, I was only thinking about me and my baby. You know what I'm saying? But 
overall, the life that I want, I don't want to be a single parent. I don't want to have, I don't want my child having fucked up genes from a goddamn narcissistic fuck face ass hard. I don't want my child having spiritual detri- detrimental, you know, problems all because this fuck face has demons. You know, now my child has to slay the demons on his daddy's bloodline. Like, nah. No, I need to come into a sacred union with somebody who has slayed their fucking demons like I have, breaking generational curses like I have. That way, our child can live basically as closely as possibly to being demon-free, trauma-free, genetically trauma-free, and all of that good shit. Like, a lot of shit that I went through wasn't even for me. I was born into this motherfucking bullshit ass motherfucking bloodline to heal them, to heal them. My ancestors wanted me to heal their generations of fuck shit. My great grandmother, my my cousin, you know, Kevin, these motherfuckers, I know, watch over me from the spirit world. And I know that for a fact because they talk to me in my dreams and they come whenever I'm feeling some type of way. You know, and it doesn't matter. Sometimes I could feel like a loving presence around me. They, I might dream about them. I remember I had this dream and it was shortly after my cousin had died a couple years back. And I I dreamt, I dreamt about him like a couple days in a row. And I was like, whoa, 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 hold on. I was like, KD, you did though. Like, why the fuck are you in my dreams and you did? Because, and it's crazy because I, I was talking to him and I remembered him exactly from like when I was a kid and he was a teenager. Cause you know, I used to have a little crush on him and he was just, I just loved when he used to have his long hair and everything. I knew he was my cousin, but I mean, shoot, he a good looking man. He is, but you know, there's boundaries. And see, that's something that narcissists don't understand. They don't understand boundaries. That's why you get, That's why you have uh, fucking fathers fucking their daughters and fucking mothers fucking their sons and, you know, cousins fucking cousins and brothers and si- That incest shit, that is some spiritually toxic, narcissistic shit. It is. But I'm just saying, like, man. I, but I remember asking him, I'm like, yo, like, you did like how are you in my dreams he's like i'm dead in body not spirit i was like oh and every time he popped in my dreams it was always this feeling of protection like ain't shit gonna happen to you i got you i'm i'm here protecting you ain't nobody gonna do shit and i'm like yeah ain't nobody gonna do shit ain't nobody gonna do shit and ain't nobody gonna do shit (laughs) you know like these Oh, and then it's so crazy. I'm so intuitive and my dreams are so fucking accurate. I am Claire Cognizant. Claire Cognizant. I know how to spell the shit. I just can't really pronounce the word all the way. But in other words, it means I know shit. I be knowing shit. I don't know how I know it, but I know. And I say that because prior to my mom popping up on me out here in Dallas, Back in April, I had a dream that um, me and her met up or we came, we crossed paths or some shit like that. And shortly after that dream, boom, out. here she is tapping me on my shoulder. I gave her a hug. You know, we're we're in public, so I'm going to smile. I'm, I'm not about to cause no scene, but I smiled. I gave her a hug or whatever because I ain't talked to her ass in two years. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, she been on my fucking nuts lately, man. Like, leave me the fuck alone. I know your phone number. Clearly, I don't use it. And there's a reason why, you know? And there's a reason why my niece don't fuck with you. There's a reason why certain people in the family or people that you used to be friends with don't fuck with you. They don't fuck with you because you're controlling. Nobody, look, everybody is an adult. We don't need you telling us what to do, where to go, what to eat, who to date, 
when to get married, what pets of, I, I don't like cats. Nobody gives a fuck about whether you like cats, bitch. I like cats. I fuck with Basset, the goddess of cats in fucking Egypt. I fuck with her. I went to this uh, metaphysical store and I bought some more crystals like around Monday. Because today is, no, this was last week. Okay, I'm tripping. So it was last week um, that I went and I went and I seen this these beautiful cat statues and I was just drawn to them. And I mean, what's the chances of me having two cats and wanting two cat statues? One was like bronze and then the other one was all black. Now, I do believe that cats guard against spirits in the spiritual world that are bad. They play with the good ones because sometimes I notice that my old apartment in Virginia, my cats would be running around, but they'll be looking up in the ceiling. I'm like, what the fuck are you looking at? But whatever the fuck they was looking at, whatever spirit it was, it was a playful spirit because they was up there playing, chasing and shit like that. But then there's been times where there might have been something kind of not so nice and not so good. And they'll just stare and just stare. If you ever catch your cat or your dog looking into a specific area or a specific room for long periods of time, you got a spirit on your hands. And... um me firsthand dealing with um my ex back in Virginia. Oh yeah, that nigga had a spirit spirit. And um it tried to kill me because it tried squeezing my heart while I was sleeping shit. You know, I, I've experienced some supernatural shit. So this spiritual warfare shit is motherfucking real. It's it it's fucking real. And the more I come into myself and I realize that um god damn it uh shit the more i come into myself and i fucking realize you know spiritual warfare man look psh, the shit is serious like every day um like in the bible it says every day put on the armor of god man yeah first thing i do is get up i say me some affirmations i put my fucking crystals and bracelets and shit on you know what i'm saying like i'm getting more and more and it's and i just recently got some healing crystals um some amaz amazonite and blue lace agates and i didn't even know that they were healing crystals i just was like you know um i emotionally was feeling you know sad or whatever and I just was like, hey, ancestor spirit guides, God, universe, you know, guide me to choose some crystals that I need. So I end up getting this purple amethyst uh, bracelet, this rose quartz, and I definitely needed the rose quartz for show sure because, you know, I definitely needed to radiate love into my life because I just basically ended a narcissistic relationship. So there was a moment of grief, sadness. You know, I fucking cried like, why the fuck did I go through all this shit and this and that? But there's no coincidences. When you're on your spirit, when you're on your own particular spiritual journey, you will have uh, distractions. You will have narcissists trying to fuck with you. And you sometimes will have witches, you know, the dark forces and fucking people trying to fuck with you and shit like that but you you can't do shit to me you can't do no more than what the fuck i allow so if i allow negative energy into my space you know into my mental then yeah it's gonna turn into emotional you you know you gotta understand when you when you when you on a certain vibration or you're trying to elevate in vibration you're going to have to it's like playing offense and defense the spiritual world i'm glad right now that i can't see the veil like that because let me go and look over and then i see a fucking spirit over there i'd be freaked the fuck out but i've noticed that i am kind of clear audience i can kind of randomly hear conversations and shit and i'd be like who the fuck is talking and in my mind logically consciously my mind is trying to be like 
Those are the neighbors downstairs. Those are the, the people outside. There's no reason why there's whispers and I can hear that shit. And it's just like, okay. And I'm trying not to, you know, freak out and my heart <laughs> is racing because I mean, for real, y'all, the spirit world is real fucking real. I'm about to make a I'm about to make another uh video about it though.